Moneyline. I am Jennifer Valentine, and I made it. I was making excuses to the audience because I work on breakfast television here in Toronto, so I'm live on location every morning. So this morning I was in Brampton with some firefighters, and that's not why I'm late. <laughs> not bad, though. It's because of the traffic here in Toronto. But I'm here, and I'm so glad to be with you. Leave Judd from Lulu Magazine is here. Thank you. And you look gorgeous. Thank you. And uh, Thank we've got you. some great fashions. We're talking about skirts, so let's bring in our first model. Okay. So we're talking about skirts for different shapes. So not everybody is tall and lanky. So our first petite, our first model, is actually a petite. So Michelle is a perfect petite. She's a 5'2". She's very two, tiny. Very, very cute. tiny. Very cute. So the, what you need to think of when you're a petite is that you want to elongate the leg mm -hmm. and you want to not be engulfed in fabric. So what you want to think of when you're buying your skirt is uh, showing as much leg as possible. So you want it above the knee always and you want a higher hemline. And I know we're not talking about shoes, but these shoes elongate the leg. They always do. That is a stylist. Every celebrity's red uh, carpet trick is to wear uh, a nude pump with a scoop in the front because it makes your legs look mile long. Angelina Jolie, that's what she does. Exactly. Yeah. And the shoes now, that I'm now wearing can today you, do you consider yourself a petite if you're a little wider, but you're short? Aren't Definitely. You, you're a petite. So 5'1", five, 5'2", five, you can be a petite. It's that your, your frame is smaller, so you don't have... Everything is smaller. So okay. the outfit that we have is from Banana Republic and it's from their petites department. So it's made specifically for f smaller frames. So the skirt is this very pretty A-line skirt. We paired it with a little ruffled top. Another thing that you want to keep in mind when you're a petite is that you don't want to look like a baby doll. You don't. You want to stay away from anything too girly, too pretty, mm -hmm. because you'll, you'll just look like a little girl. Yeah. Uh, and then anything past the knee, also, again, you're going to be engulfed in fabric, and you do, it's just going to have the opposite effect of what you're looking for. Very nice. You look fantastic. And this trench coat, I just want to point out, is absolutely wonderful. It is from the petite section at Banana Republic, and the waist hits where it's supposed to, so you don't have to get it tailored. Nice. I like that. Nice coat. Yeah. Nice. Gorgeous. Nice. Good stuff. Thank you, Josh. Now we're bringing in Nicole, and Nicole, it says here that she has a pear-shaped body. She has a pear-shaped body. So okay. A pear-shaped body is somebody who has extra on the hips mm -hmm. and you're smaller on top. So you're an inverted triangle. So what you're trying to think of, the things that you need to think of, is that you want to bring a, a balanced proportion, you want to make your hips look smaller, and you want to bring your eyes upwards. So those are the three things you need to keep in mind. And the skirt that you need to be buying is A-line. So that's the one thing that you need to be keeping in mind. This look actually entirely from Joe Fresh. Mm -hmm. and this is that A-line skirt that doesn't cling at the hips, doesn't bunch or gather, and there's a couple of different A-line skirts that you can get. It's either this one, which is a little bit straight and structured, or something that's full and very swingy, and actually it's one of the key looks that we're seeing for fall. Oh. It's that feminine sort of style dressing straight off the straight from the 50s I would say and it's a, a very very feminine way of dressing so this look from banana Repu or sorry from Joe Fresh we paired it with a, a little bit of a preppy white shirt and this cardigan to keep it um, from looking too stuffy it has tiny little if you can see silver stripes mm -hmm. inside and threading so it adds a little touch of youthfulness to this look and then we added a punch of color with the purple and then of course the shoes they're from town shoes and they've got ruching down the front yep yeah, shooties exactly. I have the exact same pair in red really and I love yeah. them and I get compliments from them all the time they're, they're great and I want to say thank you to Nicole because she's actually one of my interns at the magazine and oh. she volunteered today to be our wonderful pair Nicole you make <laughs> a wonderful you. model you're beautiful yes. thank you. might not be the last time she asked <laughs> So Jen, Jen is curvy. Jen is curvy. Mad so it's Men all about, curvy. Exactly. So think of Joan from Mad Men, and that's what you want to think of. So you want to emphasize the curves that you were born with. So don't hide under fabric. You want to emphasize your hips, emphasize your bust, and minimize your waist. That's Marilyn you Monroe did it. It worked for her. Exactly. I think she was a size 14, wasn't she? I know, and everybody and finds it beautiful. so hard to believe. And I think Joan from Mad Men is... If, if I'm not mistaken, she's a 14. So she's, it's all about emphasizing those beautiful curves that you've been born with. So what you need to think of is a pencil skirt. That's the silhouette that you need. Um, you want to make sure that the skirt isn't too tight, okay. and it doesn't um, bunch or gape, and you want it to go to the knee. So that's the universally flattering length for a skirt, all the way straight to the knee. Okay. And then think of either bright pops of color to bring either the tension up or down, or patterns and fabrics. So what we have here is pleather 
adds that really sex appeal, that really va va voom feel to the look. And this look is from Jacob. This jacket, just want to point it out, it's absolutely gorgeous. I think we both fall in love with it. And it goes in on the waist, so it emphasizes the waist. And then, of course, the boots, they're also from. Uh, town shoes and uh, they're actually above the knee so they're just sitting inside of your skirt and I really like that look they're beautiful suede boots above the knee we wear those with a nice pair of jeans too and they're back again Looks this good. Fall. beautiful oh and I just want to point out the scarf when you pour, um, put a scarf that goes down the center of your body or jewelry when it goes down it creates this streamlined silhouette and actually makes you look Thinner. Okay, I like that. Keep that in mind. Uh, and for everybody in the audience today, of course, we have Lulu Magazine. So you're all getting Lulu Magazines to take home. I'm going to hold this one up right now. This is what it looks like. And uh, we'll have more City Line when we come back. Great fashions. You look great.